What's going on everybody? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Ricky Somborn and today we're going to be learning how to play Party Favor by Billie Eilish on the good old ukulele. So make sure your uke is in tune and let's start learning. So the first thing I want to mention before we dive into this ukulele tutorial of Party Favor by Billie Eilish, uh, I've gotten a lot of questions about this ukulele and the sound. So I actually have a low G on this ukulele. This is a tenor sized Kala ukulele, uh, but I did change the strings out and I put a low G, which kind of gives it a deeper, uh, I want to say like more like is caramelly sound something, but it really is sort of a deeper flavored sound, uh, which I really like. So. I don't know, it just gives it that deeper sound that I really like and I think it suits my voice. Um, so if you're, um, you know, listening to this uke and you're like, wait, mine doesn't sound like that. Mine sounds a little bit higher. Yours is probably traditional strings. It doesn't have the low G, but don't worry. All these songs will sound just as good without the G or the low G or with normal strings. It all sounds great. Also, another quick YouTube thing I want to mention is that if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, it looks a little bit like this. It's a red button. If you click it, it will turn gray and that means you're subscribed to this channel. Also, if you want to be notified every single time I upload a video right here on YouTube, click the bell icon right next to the subscribe, subscribe icon. I can't say it too fast. And also, leave a comment below letting me know what you thought about this ukulele tutorial. Or if you have any other songs that you want to learn on the uke, leave them below. It really helps a lot with the engagement. And also, the most important part is make sure to give this video a thumbs up. That tells YouTube that this video is good uh, and it will actually start showing it to other people. Uh, a lot of people have been like saying, like, I don't understand why you don't have more subscribers. Well, it's because I need more likes on these videos. <laughs> so if you want to help me out, make sure to give this video a big old thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Leave some love. Share it with your friends online. Tweet it out. If you tweet it and you add uh, at me as well, I'll follow you on Twitter because why not? I haven't used Twitter in a while, but you know what? We're going to use Twitter today and forever moving forward. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Bam, it's right here. Uh, we've built a community of over 46,000 of you guys. That's insane. So thank you so much for following me on there, following me on here, following me everywhere. I uh, really appreciate it. And enough with that YouTube stuff. Let's get into the tutorial. So the chords that you need for this song are A minor, C, E, so if you don't feel comfortable playing the E chord in a song just yet because maybe you're starting out, I have an alternative for you, but don't tell Plazi, aka Bernadette Teaches Music on YouTube. I'll link her channel right up here. She's a great ukulele teacher. She can teach you how to play the E chord. But on this channel, we like to keep it nice and simple. Uh, so the alternative for an E chord for this song, it's not gonna work for every song that you see an E chord in, but for this song, it does work, which is the E7. And I think it sounds just as good. Um, so if you're not comfortable with it, do the E7. But don't tell Bernie I told you to do that because uh, she's gonna get mad at me. <laughs> the next chord that we need is an F. F minor. And last but not least, the good old G. So if you already know how to play those chords and you're like, Ricky, I want to learn the strumming and the chord progression. I don't want to go through how to learn these chords. I'll put a timestamp right here so you can skip to the actual section that you need in this video. Uh, so go ahead, you can pause it, see where you want to go to. Or if you don't know how to play these chords and you're like, Ricky, I don't know how to play an A minor or a C or a G. Don't worry, this is why this video exists. We're gonna go step by step how to play each chord and then we'll move on to strumming and chord progression. And also one thing I wanna note is I actually did do a full play along for this song with chords on the screen. Uh, I'll link it right up here. It'll say click here for full play along. So make sure to go watch that video, give it some love. Again, give it a like because it helps with the video algorithm. And yeah, so if you don't know how to play these chords, then stick around, we're gonna learn them right now. So one of the first things I like to talk about before we learn these chords is when you're holding ukulele, you have obviously the four strings. So the top string 
is going to be known as the fourth string and then you go down to the third string and the next one down second and the last one at the bottom is the first string and then you have these lines on your ukulele and these are frets so from the first one is the first fret second fret third fret fourth fret and so on so that's how many naming where we're going to be putting our fingers. I will also leave a chord chart uh, so you can see visually where your fingers should be. Um, so it'll be super easy. And if you need to pause the video and just kind of practice the chord positioning, do it, feel free. I won't know that you paused it because I, it's, it's a video. So anyways, let's go ahead into the first chord. So the first chord that we're going to learn is the A minor chord and I like to play it with my middle finger or my pointer finger. Today I'm going to play it with my middle finger. Um, so I'm going to put my middle finger on the fourth string, which again is the top string, on the second fret. So fourth string, second fret, and it should sound like this. The next chord we're going to learn is the C chord and I like to play it with my ring finger. So we're going to put it on the first string, third fret, and it should sound like this. So the next chord that we're going to learn is the E chord. And again, as I've mentioned previously, if you don't feel comfortable uh, with E chord just yet, maybe you're starting out and you're like, eh, E chord is scary. Trust me. I think it's just as scary. Again, don't tell Bernie because she'll kick my butt. Um, but uh, it's going to be, you're going to place your pointer finger on the first string, second fret, and then you're going to place your other three fingers. So your pinky, ring finger and your middle finger on the fourth string uh fourth fret third string fourth fret and second string fourth fret and it should sound like this so again if you're not comfortable with the e chord and you're like ricky i do not want to play the e chord in the song just yet i'm not they're at that level yet. Trust me, I understand. So we're gonna do an alternative to the E chord and it's gonna be the E7. So how to play this is you're gonna take your pointer finger and you're gonna put it on the fourth string first fret. Then you're gonna take your middle finger and you're gonna put it on the third string second fret. And then you're gonna take your ring finger and you're gonna put it on the first string second fret and it should sound like this. Not gonna lie, that's like one of my favorite chords in all of it, so it's like, sounds really good. The next chord that we're gonna learn is the F chord, and this one is pretty simple. So we're gonna take our pointer finger and we're gonna place it on the second string first fret, and then we're gonna take our middle finger and we're gonna place it on the fourth string second fret, and it should sound like this. The next chord that we're going to learn is the F minor. So how we play this one is we're going to take our pointer finger and we're going to put it on the fourth string first fret. We're going to take our middle finger and we're going to put it on the second string first fret. And then we're going to take our pinky and put it on the first string third fret. And it should sound like this. And last but definitely not least is the G chord and how we play this one is we're going to take our pointer finger and we're going to put it on the third string second fret. We're going to take our middle finger and we're going to put it on the first string second fret and then we're going to take our ring finger and we're going to put it on the second string third fret and it should sound like this. <laughs> So those are all the chords that you need for this song. Again, if you need a little bit more time, a little bit more practice on getting the finger positioning and also doing the transition between chords and you wanna practice that, make sure to pause this video, practice, get comfortable. And now we're gonna go on to the chord progression of this video. So for the verse, it's pretty simple. It's going to be C, A, F, C, and G. So you're going to play that chord progression twice for the verse. So it's going to be, hey, call me back, get this. 
man and then talk. And then you're going to do it again. So for the pre-chorus, it's going to be A minor, C, F, and then C, and then G. So it's going to sound a little bit like this. So you're going to play that again twice for the pre-chorus. So for the chorus, it's going to look like this. F, G, C, A minor, and then E chord or E7. So we're going to do the E7. And so that's the first chunk of the chorus. And then the second one, you're going to do this again, but you're going to add a little extra to the end. So it's going to go F, G, C, and then A minor, E, F, and then the ending is like, I'm not your party favorite. So you're gonna do F, F minor, C. And then we'll go back into the verse, which we just explained previously on how that chord progression goes. So we are now at the strumming portion of this video. There are two different ways that I wanna talk about how you can play this song. The first one is just the basic down, down, up, up, down, up strumming pattern, um, which is fairly easy. Anybody can really learn that. Um, and the second one is the down, down, up, up, down, up, plus a chuck. Um, so it kind of adds a little spicy flavor to that basic strumming pattern. Another thing that I do want to note is in the beginning of the original song of Party Favor by Billie Eilish, she does the muting uh, string sound, which is this. So I kind of want to just quickly explain how we do this if you don't know how to do it. So pretty much you just want to cover all the strings. You don't want to press down because if you press down really hard, it will sound like this. Which, not cool. Doesn't sound good. So you just want to lay your fingers on top of all the strings. Um, you don't want to press down. You just want to make sure they're touching and it should sound like this. So go ahead and practice that. And now let's get into the two different strumming patterns. So the first strumming pattern that we're gonna talk about is the down, down, up, up, down, up strumming pattern. And if you can't guess, it's literally just down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. So go ahead and practice that. Um, let's lay the C chord down and it would just, let's do the uh, down, down, up, up, down, up strumming pattern a few, more, few times shall we i can't say words but let's do it three two one down down up up down up 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 so that is pretty much it for that down down up up down up strumming pattern if you want to add a little spicy meatball into the mix uh you can add a chuck into it so it would be so it would be down chuck up up chuck up down, chuck up, up chuck, up down, chuck up, up chuck, up down, chuck up, up chuck up. So if you don't know how to chuck, pretty much you want, you're muting all the chords. So how I do it is I like to mute the chords with this sort of meaty part of your hand. Um, so you want to obviously strum with your finger with this one. It's going to strum and you're going to mute immediately. So it's going to be... So you're muting the chords. So you're you're following the finger, the finger plays the strings, and then you automatically follow with a mute. Um, and I think it just adds a little bit of a, you know, just nice little, it, it, it changes it up, which is nice. The strumming pattern, it sounds really cool. And you know, you sound more advanced uh, when you do a chuck and people are like, ooh, that, that sounds kind of cool. No? Yeah, probably, okay, no, baby. So I'll put the original down, down, up, up, down, up, right up here. And below that, uh, I will put the, with the chucking. So the chucks will be marked as an X. So it will be down, chuck, up, up, chuck, up. So again, you can pause the video if you want, just practice this strumming pattern with the chuck, without chuck, whatever you want to do is perfectly fine 
with me. So let's go ahead and just do a mini play along of what it should sound like. Again, I'll put the full, my nose itches, woo! We got this. I'll put the full play along in the link uh, in the description box below. Also, again, I've linked it up here as well, uh, but go check it out. It's the full play along with lyrics and chords on the screen. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and just do a quick little demo of how this song sounds with a chuck. So we're just gonna do a snippet of the chorus in three, two, one. Hey, call me back, get this, when you got a man in the top. Also, I wanna note that I'm not singing the full lyrics because I don't wanna get uh, copyrighted for this specific song. That's what for the play along is for. That can get copyrighted. I don't care if Billie Eilish takes my music, take it all. But for this one, I was like, you know what? Maybe I don't wanna get, uh, have a copyright strike on this video. So that's why I'm not singing the full lyrics, but you get the point of the strumming and the chucking. I'm, I'm assuming, right? Right. I can't hear you if you're saying no, so. So congratulations, now you know how to play Party Favor by Billie Eilish on the good old ukulele. If you did like this video and it did help you in some way, let me know in the comments below. Also again, leave a thumbs up for this video. It really does truly help me and this channel out. Again, if you haven't subscribed and you've watched this far, what are you doing? Why haven't you subscribed? You've watched this far. Click the red subscribe button. Wow. Click the red subscribe button below. I can't speak. Today is hard to do that. We're going to we're going to master speaking soon. I promise. Um, anyways, click the red subscribe button below. It looks a little bit like this. Click it, it'll turn gray. Again, if you want to be notified every single time I upload a video right here on YouTube, click the bell icon right next to the subscribe icon. And again, leave comments, likes, share this video, share it with your friends, share it with people who like Billie Eilish. I would really, truly appreciate you if you did that. Get the word out for this channel. I uh, absolutely love making these tutorials and these play-alongs, and they take a lot of time, so I would really appreciate it if you would just do a little clicky-clicky and share it on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, whatever you want to do. Just share the love, which, I don't know, this is getting weird. Uh, sorry, <laughs> you're probably like, click out, leaving. Uh, no, don't leave. Stay with me forever. Again, getting weird. Uh, anyways, I will see you in my next video. Uh, again, leave some comments and recommendations below in the comment section of what song you want me to do next. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.